Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we'll be talking about the continuation of our last video, which was how we can actually run the Playwright in init test using the custom framework, which is added by Microsoft team and how we can also customize the Playwright in init test itself uh, using the run settings files of the .NET test, like how we can actually do that because Earlier, we didn't have those options, but now we do have those options. That is what we'll be discussing in this particular video. We'll see how we can actually leverage the power of the run settings file, which can help us to execute the test using the command line interface, but also we can actually use the option to control the browsers and the, the headless uh, options or speed and stuff. So I will see how all these things can be done much, much easily in playwright.net with NUnit. So in order to do that, the first thing is we're really gonna go and add the new file, but before that, just a disclaimer, you need to have a clear understanding of what we discussed in our earlier video about the playwright NUnit. So please go ahead and watch the playwright in it video where we have discussed about all these executions which is going to give you some idea right so in order to do that first i'm going to go right click and add and i'm going to add a file and i'm going to call this as uh, a test setting dot run setting file i mean you can name it whatever that you wanted to you can also uh, name it as the playwright config dot run settings uh, i mean it can be anything really it's regardless you can give that run settings file name over here and now you need to add the run settings itself so basically it's going to be like an xml file so you you just need to have an xml tag starting with it and then you need to give the whole xml files uh definition over there and then you need to add all the browser types and the run settings and stuff so for doing that the first thing is i'm going to go ahead and add the xml tag over here and then I need to add the run settings itself. So this run settings is going to hold all the different run settings that is required for the playwright to perform the operation. And the settings within the run settings file is going to look something like this. It is going to start with the uh, start of the playwright and then it is going to have the browser name as the Chromium browser, like whatever browser you're going to be using. And then it's going to have the launch option, which is going to be the headless or uh, and what is the channel that you will be using with and all those options. So this is exactly the same structure that we tried doing it while we were actually using the Playwright where we actually set like what is the browser that you wanted to use like Chromium browser. And we also set the launch options where we set the headless mode or headful mode. So whatever that we define within our code as a code something like this without the settings, now we can do everything in a run settings file of the end unit which is going to do the exact same thing as well as you can see over here so this is this is the only change that we have to do and once it is done and once you try to run that test right now the test is really not going to work because you know in dotnet we actually need to go ahead and right click this particular run settings file and go to the properties and we have to set the copy to output directory as copy if newer or copy always whatever which works for you and i'm going to choose the copy always and if i do this okay only then it is going to copy this particular file in the bin directory if not it's not going to copy that in the bin directory so i'll quickly show you what i really mean so i have added this run settings file and now if i'm just gonna go ahead and let's say build this selected project and if i go to the terminal and let's say if i'm just going to do a clear and if i just do an ls over here you'll realize that the playwright config.run settings file is not sitting over here the reason why it is not here is because uh this particular file actually needs to have to be copied so you have the playwright in it demo or runtime config.json file but not that particular file i'm talking about so how do we actually bring that up i'm going to go ahead and click the right click and properties and then if i set the copy always hit okay uh, and i save the whole project and now if i build the selected project and now if i go to the terminal and let's do an ls this time you'll notice that we have the playwright config.run settings file. So this is coming because we have set the particular option over there. So that is the first change that we need to do. And once we do that, we are then going to start running the .NET test from the command line. That's it. I mean, you can't do the writer IDE for now. Uh, and there is a caveat for that. Uh, I think in Visual Studio, you can do it, but not the writer IDE where you can 
choose the run settings file from the test runner uh, there is no such option at least in the playwright which i could figure out uh, sorry in the writer which i could figure out so i'm gonna go to the terminal over here and i'm just gonna go out all the way to the playwright in unit demo folder directory where we have this unit tests as you can see over here and now I'm just going to do the .NET test. That's it. This is the only thing that I need to do. And once I execute this code, you will notice that the code is just going to work over here, but without showing any browsers or something like that. The reason why this is even happening is because we actually need to notice that within this init demo over here. So if I just go ahead and edit this particular CS proj over here, you will notice that I don't really have specified the test setting file in the uh, property group over here so this is something which is not discussed elsewhere in the internet so far the reason why i took some time to figure out but you can do that in writer id by hand coding the way you can do it is actually you need to set a run settings file path so this is something very very important so we have to set the run settings file path and then we have to define this particular path the playwright config dot run settings file over here something like this which is going to tell us that this is the run settings file that we need to use for our run settings that we wanted to use within our code base if not we have to specify that explicitly and this is the best way you can actually specify the run settings file so once you define this run setting file right now and if you go to the terminal over here and if you just do the dotnet test this time you will notice that it is going to open the browser for you something like this so you, you will notice that it's open like two browser because it's running in parallel uh, and you will notice that this is working fine for us over here there, this is happening because of this run settings file that we have to specify within our internet something like this and this is super important and once you do that this code is just going to work and now guess what you can actually do this you can set the headless as false to true which means it is going to just not open the browser and you can also specify the firefox if you wanted to so if i just specify firefox over here and the channel as firefox as well because those two are important and if i just do a dotnet test this time you will notice that it is opening to firefox browser for me in another window though uh, but it is running in the firefox browser so this is how we can actually use the run settings file to control the way that how you wanted to uh, actually control the execution and there are even more options that we can do, not just about this particular controlling the code from the playwright config with the headless uh, and the launch option, but you can just go to the uh, playwright.dev over here, uh, choose the .NET, get started. And if you just go to this link, the launch configuration options, you will notice that they have this test runner with all the launch configurations. Like earlier, there was like headed as is equal to one and the browser is called WebKit that you, do, you can do it from the uh, environment variable. Now we are doing that from the config file, but you can also do more uh, like you can control the page test, context test, browser test, and the playwright test itself. Uh, and you can in invoke all those options from there and you can also set the parallelizable steps which we are going to be discussing about in our next video where we are going to use ms test to control the workers and scope but for now you already got the idea of how you can use this run settings file within playwright to control the init of playwright in a much better fashion so that's it guys this is about the playwright in unit in order to customize that using the run settings file in the next video we'll see how we can also control the worker threads and how we can do the exact same thing with ms test as well thank you